Hi, Internet friends. I'm Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. The, today is number 13 in our 20 Days of Chief Architect X15. And today's video features an easier way to find room information. So let's jump in to Chief Architect X15. In previous versions, what we might have to do to find um, a room's volume or uh, internal or standard area or room perimeter might be to put a macro say in the kitchen in the room label as I've done here um, or turn on the layers uh, let's turn on layers uh, room interior area or room standard area what I did here was I had to go into my defaults and floors and rooms and room label and put a return key and type percent owner dot volume percent and that's what um, that's what puts this number in right here for the volume of this this room here um, and that did that doesn't even put in I, I'd have to round it it doesn't put in the the um, units etc so what Chief Architect X15 has done, oh, and to find the perimeter, I might uh, make a room, select the room, make a room polyline, and find this perimeter 1240, just shy of 1241 linear inches. All right. Um, but what X15 has done has put all of that in the room dialog box. So we select the room and click on the open key, open um, button here or just double click on the room and notice all of this information is right here. Room selected, the dimension of the room. Let's move this over so that you can see that this 29 foot eight by 22 foot one is repeated there. Remember that uh, perimeter, 1240 and 15 sixteenths uh, perimeter there? Uh, standard area. 687 square feet, 653.92 square feet interior area. And that volume, 5,217.72 cubic feet. Now notice rooms selected. We can select multiple rooms with this. So let's shift uh, or control click. If you control click, you can add rooms and remove rooms from the selection. If you shift click, you can only add to the selection. OK, um, so this is great because now I can open up two rooms. And I can see what the dimensions are, what that interior perimeter is and the total volume of both rooms. Notice I can also now change multiple rooms. Um, specifications, ceiling heights. Uh, floor finish. Now I've got a kitchen and a dining room selected, so maybe I want both of them to be ivory tiles or whatever that is. So a lot better control over the rooms. Um, I could do uh, the I could uh, change the moldings in two rooms in, in you know instead of the whole floor. Um, I could add wall coverings to both rooms, have a fill style, do a hatch angle for both rooms, like so. So a lot easier now to have that room information here in the di right in the dialog box, as well as control some of these features of the um, room types. We could select multiple rooms before, but it certainly didn't give us this information and we didn't have as much control even when we selected multiple rooms. So that's that's a great new addition to Chief Architect X15. If you like this information, would you consider dropping a subscribe and like down there? Hit the notification bell so you get notified each time that I drop a video. And um, leave a comment. I enjoy the interaction with you all. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.